everyone, so I thought today I would do a makeup tutorial and I haven't done one of those for yonks, but it's actually inspired by a blog post that I did not too long ago called Downing Tools and it was all about like a brush free makeup application and using your fingers to apply products and kind of pushing the brushes aside. And it all came about when I was reading this article in Stylist Magazine quite a few weeks ago now, but it's just about how using your fingertips and your palms and your hands to apply your makeup can make everything look a little bit more natural and fresh and dewy and glowy. So I've been giving it a go and considering I'm just such a slave to my uh, Real Techniques buffing brush, I've actually really been enjoying just using my hands and so a few of you asked under that um, post whether I would do a video of it so I thought I would. It's super easy and all you need are quite a few creamy products. So I've got some here, I've got like a cream contour and cream blusher, cream highlight and I'm going to use um, my Giorgio Armani foundation, Luminous Silk foundation which is one of my favourite foundations at the moment but I find that you can actually get quite a nice um, more like medium to light coverage. I'm just going to take a pump of this in my hands and as I said it's the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I have the shade 4 here which is kind of my everyday shade but I also use the shade um, 6 more in the evening time. I'm just going to pop that in my hand then rub it together and kind of just focus on one bit of my face at the time so I'll sort of do my chin first and then sort of work my way up onto my cheeks and when you use a brush with this foundation you can actually get it up to pretty much a full coverage foundation it's one that I use in the evenings when I want everything to be quite covered and concealed but when you use your fingers with it you can really eke out more of like a medium coverage and actually make it look quite dewy on the skin and then anywhere where you need a little bit more coverage I tend to just put a tiny little dot in my hand and then like just press it on so I usually find is on my cheeks, they can get like a wee bit red. So I just press that on my cheeks. And then you can always go over with a bit of concealer. This is the only problem that when you're using your hands, they can obviously get a bit messy. And usually I end up just wiping them on my sock, which is really gross. But today I thought ahead, I've got some uh, kitchen rolls. I'm just gonna wipe that foundation off my hands. And then the next step is concealer. And obviously you're gonna wanna use something quite creamy and blendable and the Clinique Airbrush is fabulous for this as is the Collection 2000 Illuminating um, Concealer. I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer because it's just my favorite and I just always go back to this. I think this is my third one. I think I say that every time I use it but I really like it and I'm just gonna pop a tiny bit of that with my ring finger under my eyes and then on any redness that I've got which is usually end of my nose and then just kind of round my nose and this is the one bit of my routine which I did usually use to use my fingers for anyway I just find it works it into the skin really nicely so that's foundation and concealer all buffed and blended in and then the next step is contour and this is the bit that in my post when I was trying to put it into words just sounded a bit like gobbledygook and I just couldn't get it across so it's much easier to show you in this video and cream contours are a bit difficult to come by and the only one I've got in my collection is the this one and it's the and other stories face contour cream looks a little bit like this it looks very scary in the compact but it actually blends out really nicely and the bit of your hand that you want to apply contour is this bit the fleshy bit between like your thumb and where it connects to your wrist so you're just going to want to apply the product here and then tap it like that under your cheekbones and actually I find that this is a really like fuss free easy way of applying contour because when you go like that you can find the natural contour of your cheeks so much easier than with a brush so I think this only comes in one shade it's about £10 I'll put the link to where you can get it from below but I'm just gonna tap my side of my hand in there so I've got it on like that on the side of my hand and then I'm just gonna press that under my cheekbones. Now doesn't that look a bit scary? <laughs> but then just by kind of rolling your hand and like tapping it out you can blend it in and get it to look so much more natural. When you sort of got the main line there then I just tend to go, go with my hands and massage it in. So I'm just going to do the same on the other side and tap it in like that and then tap this under my cheekbone. Might look a bit cat-handed, 
That's because I am cat candid. I ate with my knife and fork the wrong way around. And just massage it in. The next step for cheeks is cream blusher. And instead of going on about the Stila convertible colour, which I go on about all the time, I thought I'd go on about something a bit different. And I was going to pick the RMS Beauty Lips, Cheek and Smile because I love that, but I've gone for this instead. And it's the Bourjois Cream Blush in 01. And this is Nude Velvet. And this is like a fuss free kind of anyone can wear this shade and it just blends really nicely in. It's quite a cream to powder finish. But I just tend to take this on. My thumb actually. The article suggests that you use your thumb because it's just the right size of what you want to cover, which is pretty true. It makes a lot of sense. I used to use just maybe like my index finger and smudge it on, but actually your thumb makes quite a lot of sense. And I just stick that on to the centre of my cheek. The wicked thing about using your hands is you can kind of just pat over your cheeks at every um, every step to make sure that it's all seamless and blended in. And then I'm going to go for highlighter and that's the RMS Beauty Living Luminizer, which I just love. And this I take on my ring finger again, just a really tiny amount of it. And I just take that across the tops of the cheekbones. And then slightly in the corners of the eye as well. And down there, down there. Just a little bit everywhere. I really like this. <laughs> really like this product. So that is face done and here's where I cheat slightly. I do use a brush through my brows and I'm just going to use the one that's on the end of the hourglass. Um, is it called? Arch Sculpting Brow Pencil. There you go. That will do. That's all I'm going to do with brows because can't really be bothered. <laughs> for eyes, there are so many products that I wanted to use for this step. I think when I did the post, I used the Wild About Beauty Cream Eye Show in Buster, which is a really nice coppery golden shade. Um, but I wore this the other day, and it, it's just such a nice product to take you from like day to evening. I was wearing like barely any makeup, just popped on some concealer, like a lip balm, and then this, and basically I was ready to go on a night out. I was like, yeah, that is so easy. It's the Clinique Chubby Stick um, Shadow Tint for Eyes, and this is in the shade Fuller Fudge. Looks a little bit something like this. It's like, it's difficult to describe. It's like a bronzy, taupey, reddish brown shade. But I'm just gonna pop that all over the lid and then just blend it out with, um, with my finger. And I'm not gonna go too crazy because I'm going to the shop to pick up some milk after this. So it's really easy, you can just draw it on. And the good thing is you don't have to be like too precise about it. So you can just draw it on. When it gets to the crease, I tend to just like dot it in the crease. And then just go to the inner corner. Yeah, something a little like that would do. A little bit like that. And then once I've got it on the eye, I just kind of smudge it out, blend it out the corners. So there's like no harsh lines Ooh, without getting it on my nose. do for today but if I'm going on an evening out then I do tend to pop it on the bottom lash line as well and just kind of blend that out but now I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes these are the Shua Mira eyelash curlers and then I'm gonna go to town with my mascara of choice which is L'Oreal Telescopic Waterproof Mascara I am branching out with other um, mascaras at the moment the Clinique high impact waterproof one is quite nice and as is the uh, Max Factor Full Slash Waterproof, I think that one's called, Full Slash Effect. That's a nice one too. I keep hearing rumours of this being discontinued and I really hope it's not true because it's just my favourite favourite mascara out there. I've tried others but always end up going back to this one. All lashed up, I'm just going to put on a lip product and I think in the post I use the Carrere's um, lip butter in jasmine which is just gorgeous but today I'm going to use this and it's matte patisserie lipstick which is just my go-to nude these days it's very similar to the my natural lip shade but just with a little bit more kind of shimmering so that is it and the best bit about all of it is that you don't have to wash your makeup brushes all the darn time and anything that cuts down on brush laundry is a winner for me but I really hope you like this video thank you so much for watching give it a thumbs up 
if you did enjoy it and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!